Jealousy in relationships is complicated and messy, but it's also very natural. For those of us who are monogamous people, the thought of our partner having had previous relationships can cause that green envy to rise. We might really hate thinking or talking about it. Where jealousy becomes a problem in relationships is when it's relentless and unconsolable. When jealousy goes beyond a natural reaction and into worrisome, obsessive territory, it may subsequently become bad enough that it warrants a retroactive jealousy OCD diagnosis. In this video, we're going to take a look into retroactive jealousy OCD, what it means for the sufferer and those around them, and how we can get treatment. My name is Emily from Impulse Therapy, the online OCD treatment platform. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for weekly tips on OCD management and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever we post a new video. Now, let's dive into Retroactive Jealousy OCD. Retroactive Jealousy OCD is sort of like jealousy on steroids. The sufferer is plagued with obsessive thoughts regarding their partner's romantic and sexual history. Unlike normal jealousy, retroactive jealousy OCD does not involve a passing interest in past actions, but rather an unrelenting one. The jealousy felt isn't reserved for unique occasions such as a high school reunion or bumping into an ex. Instead, it's part of everyday life. Retroactive jealousy OCD can wreak havoc on sufferers. A lot of the time it can also affect and sometimes completely ruin relationships. The union is no longer marked by laughter, support, and trust, but rather by suspicion, accusation, and negative thought patterns. What causes retroactive jealousy OCD? As it turns out, humans are typically prone to jealousy. It could be argued that the baseline for retroactive jealousy OCD appears as soon as we enter into adult relationships. Where retroactive jealousy OCD starts to come into its own is when someone who is prone to developing OCD starts to act on compulsive behaviors that ease the anxiety felt, such as checking their partner's phone, calling their partner when they aren't home, asking for reassurance or validation. There are six types of dysfunctional beliefs common in OCD sufferers, including possessing an overactive sense of responsibility, in retroactive jealousy OCD, the sufferer may believe that stopping their partner from seeing someone from their past is the only way to save their relationship. Making meaningless thoughts meaningful. If someone with retroactive jealousy OCD experiences an intrusive thought where they picture their spouse being intimate with an ex, they'll give that thought meaning, believing that their fear is valid. Trying to control their thoughts. The sufferer may attempt to control the intrusive thoughts by overanalyzing them, seeking information about their partner's exes, or forcefully trying to expel the images from their mind. Seeing danger when none exists. The sufferer may believe that their partner still has feelings for a college fling simply because they mention their name. In no time at all, their OCD tells them that their partner is going to leave them for the fling. Aiming for perfectionism. The sufferer may strive for the ideal relationship and view their partner's past dating or sexual experiences as a threat to this perfection, perpetuating an inability to tolerate uncertainty. The sufferer may need to know, beyond a shadow of doubt, that their partner does not have feelings for someone from the past even when those feelings are understandable. For instance, people often have a special place in their heart for their first love, and this is generally accepted. The good news is, with all types of OCD, treatment and recovery is more than possible. Different types of therapy treatment can be beneficial for different people. We're all individuals with unique experiences and bodies that will influence how we respond to therapy treatment and medications. The most common form of therapy treatment for OCD is cognitive behavioral therapy and exposure response prevention. Because OCD sufferers typically have low levels of certain neurotransmitters such as serotonin and dopamine, antidepressants are often used as first-line treatment for OCD. Remember, OCD sufferers undertaking treatment are strongly advised to use therapy treatment alongside any medication used, with a relapse rate of 90% in individuals who opt exclusively for medication treatment. It's a fine line between healthy doses of jealousy and retroactive jealousy OCD. Getting treatment for OCD as soon as we notice symptoms is the optimal approach. Drop us a comment to let us know if this video was helpful to you. 
and be sure to hit the like button if you'd like to see more content like this. Until next time, from us at Impulse Therapy, stay safe and see you soon.